Alright, this is not how I wanted to spend my Mother's Day, but I'm here with another channel update, you know, as to tell you my upcoming schedule, you know, for, you know, starting tomorrow and going into next week, and, um, why there was no Carolina Dodge Dealers 400 race review for me. As you can tell by my, in my, in my voice, I've been a little under the weather. I've been trying to, like, keep it on the down low on, at least, you know, Facebook and Twitter, not really tell much that many people cause I don't want to worry them considering you know I never get sick when it's warm weather season I never it's very rare this is the first time in forever I've gotten sick in a, in a warm weather season since maybe Lenore because I know I know I never got sick in the summer on Sandhurst but maybe Lenore maybe but well good news is it's not too bad I mean I'm not completely clogged. It's, you know, it's better. I, you know, if I'm going to be completely clogged in the nose, at least do it in the winter time when it's already horrendous cold ass weather when it's, um, or it's, you know, when it's already cold, already hard as cold ass weather. Because if, if I was completely clogged, you know, it was winter time, it's more durable. In the summer, it would be dreadful. But luckily, I'm not completely clogged. I was kind of getting there, but then I took some med more medicine just a few minutes ago and now, it's kind of helped a little bit, you know. And I learned a life hack a couple years ago in this house. I went, remember one time I was starting to get a little sick. And before I could get any kind of worse, I took cold medicine. I think it was Robitussin, but we don't have Robitussin now, so I'm taking NyQuil. Uh, I took Robitussin when I was starting to get sick one night. But on a day I was supposed to go to work the next day, I took it. And guess what? I went to work and I didn't even feel anything at all, period. And like it never tried to come to begin with. So that's a life hack I would like you guys to try to use. If, if, you, if you feel a cold coming on, whether it be in the winter or this summer, quickly take cold medicine as fast as possible before a fish like fully kicks in. That way, you know, it won't be as dreadful an experience. So I'm hoping I'm somewhat nursed back to health. It's kind of one what Tuesday. That way I can bring you guys a banger YouTube video. That way... You know, we can we can spend Tuesday, you know, spend Tuesday, how you know, with doing whatever we want when it says it's going to be seventy five to seventy seven degrees. And tomorrow, I got my counselor, Bostwick. So, uh, uh, you know, it's going to be a nice day after uh, at work. It's going to be seventy one, and I'm going to wear my Tim Duncan outfit since I'm not feeling too too bad. I'm still going in anyway. And yeah. I'm a little clogged, but I'm going to be okay. But I'm going to wear my Tim Duncan, but I won't be able to wake well outside tomorrow, no matter how good I'm feeling, because I won't have time. And it's not, it's, it's the 71, the temperature's going to drop down quicker as the day, as the day transitions into night and sunset. And I have Bostwick, and I, I don't, I, ever since, you know, the end of last summer, I choose not to, like, talk to him out, uh, out in the neighborhood where I want walking around, because it's none of the neighbor's business. Even, hell, even my loved ones that are just my friends that are like family, it's not their business either, even though I do love them. Hell, he'll try it sometimes. So one time he scheduled an appointment a little too early for me. And I remember, um, you know, we were running late. This was at the, this was a long time ago, earlier this season. It was, he scheduled it for three o'clock and I should have, and somewhere around there. And he tried to call me, but I couldn't answer because of the fact I was still on the bus and we were taking forever to get home. And, you know, thing is it, you know, I had to text him. I'm still on the bus ride home from work, and you know, considering you know, it's none of work's, none of my coworkers' business either. So, therefore, that's that's why I said from now on we're gonna schedule it for like like two hours after I get out of work at like five thirty, five forty, five six o'clock. I do remember he tried to call me again a month later while I was on the bus, and I told him, "Hey, it's, I thought I thought we scheduled for four forty five, six o'clock. It's not time yet." And yeah, so I had to I had to tell him like you called a little too soon, and I helped to remember that you know that it was late. And he's like, "Damn, Mark." Well, not like that, but that's how he meant it. It's like you have a good memory. You're right. So I guess I'll call you back later. We'll do our little thingamajig. So that's what's on the agenda for tomorrow. But to, you know, and of course tomorrow we're catching up on the was it the Tony Stewart installment of Goldberg season nine. So. Therefore, that way, too, because since we're already caught up on, you know, Booty Biffle and Ty Dillon of Danger Force side hustle last night, we don't have to worry about it this week because, you know, Tuesday we get to do whatever we want. But, yeah, so therefore, I'm going to be okay, guys. Don't worry. I mean, I, I tried. 
I tried not, I didn't post it on Facebook or Twitter right away until like I made my Mother's Day post to my mom. I, I didn't want to worry so many people and I didn't want to worry you guys in. And I, I noticed I haven't said a word on TikTok about it either. I don't want to worry like the massive fan base I got, whether it's people I know in real life, just random fans from all over the interwebs or like the celebrities from, I have from, that I have watching for my content who are on my favorite shows on Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, ABC, CBS, Fox, and some from the old school 1988-2002 Barney. So I'll be okay. Hopefully I'll be just about 95% healthy by Friday, and I'll get to that in a minute. But here's the schedule for this week. Um, of course, this little update video in place of the Carolina Dodge Dealers for a new race review. Um, uh, tomorrow we're catching up on after I'm done with Bostwick. I'm going to be doing the Tony Stewart installment of Goldberg's on the DVR after everybody, most people, like at least some people, maybe all of my family, some of my family and maybe all of my family falls asleep and we'll do a reaction video on that. Then Tuesday, just a random YouTube video for Spring is in the Air. I'm not sure if it's going to be a birthday tribute for one of my favorite people from my favorite shows or one of my favorite people who are like just famous on the internet without being on a show or even if they did appear on a show one time or like appeared in a movie like Preston did. You know, Preston appeared on the All That reboot and of course Sonic 2 or, you know, Garra Hachion East Thor, the debut of Tim Duncan, Can I Recreate? Something's gonna, something's gonna give on Tuesday. I'm not sure what. Then, of course, Wednesday, we got the Jeremy Mayfield installment of, um, a million little things and the Elliot Sadler installment of Goldbergs. And then Thursday, what did we have on Thursday? I think we had the Matt getting this past, if I remember correctly, this past week was the Matt Kenseth then um, Larry Foyt installment of, of, you know, um, yeah, David Force's title. So this week will be Bob. This Thursday will be Bobby Labonte and Michael Waltrip of um, Danger Force and Side Hustle. So while we have the Bill Elliott installment of Welcome to Flash. And here's the here's the thing I wanted to get to you guys, just to make sure you're aware. The, the next weekend, this you know, this start Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there will be no uploads, none. Well, even if I'm nursed back to hundred percent health, I'm not going to be uploading anything. Because I'm going to be so busy that weekend with my sister's baby shower, you know. Like I said, I did ask her permission to, like, YouTube that on Sunday. And she was flattered that I asked permission, but kindly said no because, you know, you know, she likes to keep it pro on, the d d on the deep low, you know, or as I like to say, deep low. Because that's what it used to sound like when I was a kid or at a teen even. But, yeah, but I did ask permission rather than just going ahead and doing it myself like younger me would. So... Therefore, Friday, I, I'm gonna be stay. I'm gonna be my dad's taking me, so I don't have to be really. I don't have to be completely. Since you know he's redeeming himself from last year when you know he didn't want to take me when my mom and and my grandparents were going to see her, my sister in South Carolina to have you know to see the her, their her South Carolina house at least one time before she packed it up and moved to where she's at now in Virginia. You know, and considering my dad didn't want to take me, didn't want to keep me, so I had no choice but to go in there. And, you know, we had, to, like I said in the a few, couple previous videos, we had to leave the next day. And I was taking a little miniature YouTube break in the middle of my epic return last year. And so the next day we had to go home because my grandparents and mother didn't want me to be scared the whole time. So that's why he, my dad is redeeming himself this coming this coming weekend from last year because he realized what he, what he did wrong. So that's why, you know, this Friday he's ha I'm, he's taking me to his crib, and we're gonna do a poker game. But you know, we're not doing tech. Well, I don't know. I don't. I'm I'm not sure if it's Texas Hold'em, but even if it is, it's too early in the season for that. You know, considering you know, and even if 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 you know, even if it wasn't too early, and even if I wanted to, I just don't have time for all the fun and games because you know this is important. I have a niece coming, you know, come come to me in July, so we have to get ready for it this next Sunday, which is why I won't be able to watch the Kansas Winston Cup race a week from today. So for no uploads on no uploads next this coming week and not not a single video on Friday, not a single video on Saturday, not a single video on Sunday because Sunday I, I got denied permission. And Friday and Saturday there's nothing important, you know. And then Monday, it's just free game. After she, oh, she goes back, you know, she goes back to Virginia to continue her new, brand new regularly scheduled daily life, you know. Um, I, I, you know, my, my dad after the shower is bringing me, well, we have to go to his house and pack up my stuff, I think. Or unless we're packing up my stuff before the shower and then we're going straight back here. But, 
either way, you know, he had my, I, not only I have to work on Monday, but my dad and my stepmom have to work on Monday and my sister has to leave on Monday morning when I'm getting ready to go to back to work. And, um, she has to go back to work on Tuesday. So therefore, uh, hopefully um, there's going to be a way I can hopefully avoid the dogs when I, on this next Sunday, when I come back to my dad's room all the way here. But like we remember how she brought the dogs up a long time ago at the beginning of the season. I can't remember what the occasion she came in for, but yeah, I like I I do remember I was on the bus that one what, one day and you know she came in and uh, remember when she st when my dad still had his apple seed house you know the smaller house and you know she and my sister you know brought my headphones in that I was an idiot and left by the air fryer and I kind of lost uh, lost track of where they were at and so she brought them over for me and my baby cousin Nico came we took a group picture and my dad saved a lot of those pictures and made the one with him her and i as my profile picture that's that were his kids obviously and i was grown-ass kids but yeah even my sister saved the one with me her nathaniel and nico to her like made it her own header which i thought was really really cool i don't remember what the occasion was that was a long time ago at the beginning of the season but yeah, I did tell her on the bus, and I was I got on the bus. I was on the way home, so that way she could hide the dogs before I had a chance to go in, and I could they could scare me. And so, if look at that, I was safe. So I think we can do that again this coming. Fr I think we can do that again not only this coming Friday if she comes to if she like somehow gets gets to the kids here before I come home from work, like you know we repeat of a lot back in the fall, and also the same thing. Um, you know, when we get when my dad drops me off back here on Sunday next Sunday night, then I can tell I'm on my way home, hide the dogs, and then you know we'll be safe either way. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm gonna lock up my room like I did last time. That way they don't come in. They don't come in here because you know some dogs are smart enough to open the door, especially big ones. Even Jerry Springer Man's dog is you know the you know, dogs of the Demon Danes are, are they're as big as they are. They're smart enough to open doors on their own with the knob, not with their noses on the edge like you know. Crouch of Doom's dog in heaven, you know, D Bernie Bondon opened the door on his own, you know, sliding screen door. I'm going to share that video on TikTok as a throwback, you know, in, in a few weeks from now, but I'll share that clip in particular. But yeah, that was, those are some good times, but we'll save that discussion for another day. But yeah, I will text her in advance, you know, if she, you know, she's, uh, she beats me here, I'll text her like, hey, I'm on my way, hide the dogs, and then Monday she leaves, go back into Virginia. Then my, Monday me and my dad and stepmom go back to work. And before you know it, you know, starting, you know, that same day, it's free game until my dad's nephew's wife's sister's wedding. You know, from between next Sunday and, you know, that wedding, it's, you know, after that, after the baby shower and then before the wedding, it's free game. At least for, for now. At least for now, because, because... Next Monday, I will be making a video of, you know, my thoughts on Promised Land getting canceled. You know, I was looking forward to having another season and continuing this story, but sadly, we're not going to get a proper ending. But you're going to hear more about that from uh, from me next Monday. So that's since I'm going to I already had a bunch of uploads scheduled for this week, you know, you know this week you know, planned. So that's like the Promised Land video is going to get me uploaded Monday. So therefore, you know. That's why I want to come on here and tell you as to why, you know, what's been going on, you know, how, my, what my health is like, and, you know, what my schedule is like, and the most important of all, I will be taking next weekend off from uploading. I mean, there'll still be pictures being plastered out there. I mean, they'll still be being, you know, then we're most like, maybe we'll make some TikToks at the shower, but not a YouTube video. On Friday and Saturday, I have nothing important to record or upload, and... And I just remembered, I just remembered, I had to check NASCAR.com. Okay, the weekend of the All-Star Race, which is not next weekend, but the weekend after that. It's actually on a Sunday, it's not a Saturday. I forgot last year, the first year was at the Hot Caca Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas. You know, yours truly, Tech Tex as Motor Speedway, because fuck that track. Um... It's actually on a Sunday. It was like that yeah, last year, too. So, therefore, so therefore, the day before the Texas Winston All-Star Race, um, that's the episode three of Poker Game Night. That's going to be on the 21st. Episode three of Poker Game Night. That's going to be the next Poker Game Night episode. And then the next day is the All-Star Race. But I fucking hate that track. So, therefore, I'll probably bring you guys a random YouTube banger instead because I had more fun hanging out with my friends in the neighborhood last year their day of the all-star race instead of watching that hunk of junk of a track and their shitty ass racing but 
with the way the Gen 7 has, you know, put on an absolute clinic this year, it, it could put on a banger, but even if it does, I'm still skipping it because it doesn't matter how good the race is, I still hate the track. I'm just hoping Alex Bowman can win the All-Star Race or the Dickies 500 in the fall. That way that track could go away forever. And even though my favorite, you know, who didn't even have a throwback, you know, this year and still finished ninth, you know, and his brother, you know, finished three spots behind him, who won the 2020 Samsung Radio Shack 500, it still didn't change my opinion on it. And I was hoping to see Austin do a throwback this year, but unfortunately he did it. But I guess, you know, they don't want to bite the bullet. And they don't want to run the Goodrich car because, you know, everybody's going to have a canary if they do. I mean, I'm a senior fan, even though it was only for one race and 199 laps in the fourth turn when I started watching when he died and shit. But even as a, even though my time for senior was that short, I feel like it's time, you know. Austin Dillon and his, this number three team that was three with Dale, and then 29 with Harvick after Dale was killed, and then back to three for Austin after Harvick left RCR. They've gone through enough of Dale Sr.'s old pain schemes. Like, 20... I Did they do... I know they did the, the, the Wrangler car in 2017. I know they did this in 2019, I think it was. They did the Secret Silver, and they did a Ricky... Okay, 20, I know 2016, they did a Ricky Rudd paint scheme. 2020, uh, two years ago, they did Junior Johnson. I think in, this one might have been 2018. I, I, could, I could be wrong. But 2015, he threw it back to RC. He threw it back to his grandfather, who drove the three before before Dale made the famous. In 2016, he drew back to Rudd. 2017, he threw back to um, Dale Senior. First one of Dale, first of many Dale Senior paint schemes he threw back to. I think 2018 or no 2019 was it? What which one was the race where you know he can, yo he you know stage one you know when 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 I still hate it. No, it had to be 2018. 2018, he, I think he did the sil secret silver where they waited till the last minute. And, you know, that was when the, Larson was, I still hated Larson. He tried to put him a lap down. And at the end of stage one, he stayed on the lead lap and, you know, put him in the wall when I still hated Larson. He drove the 42 for Ganassi, you know. And then stage two, you know, he Larson managed to get him back by, you know, putting him a lap down as he won the stage, and then he choked it away and shit. Yeah, I think that was the Secret Silver. This one was 2019, I think, when he had the worst season of his Quincy Cup career. And then 2020, the Junior Johnson throwback, he um, finished second, where he, if he had one more lap, he probably would have passed Harvick and won that race. And I don't even remember the throwback he did for last year. And this year, he didn't, you know, he didn't do a throwback. I mean... Still, though, they've gone through enough of Dale Sr.'s major paint games. Wrangler, Secret Silver. I mean, to be fair, they haven't done the Tasmanian Devil one that all guy ran in the Bush Series race last year and shit. But either way, other than the Tasmanian Devil one, what the fuck is left? I mean, if they're, they're, gonna, they're basically running out of major Dale Sr. paint schemes to go through that they haven't used yet for Austin. So eventually, they're going to have to bite the bullet and run the Goodrunge car. I mean... As an Austin fan from 2012 and as, as someone who was a senior fan for the race he was killed in, I, I feel like it's time that, you know, RC and Austin say fuck it and just run the Goodrich car anyway and not give a single solitary shit who gets mad about it, whether it be fans or people connected to Dale Sr. You know, And besides, Dale Sr. was Austin and Ty's godfather, so... I think Dale Sr., if he had, you know, not died in 2001 and retired for his 2003 farewell season and saw Austin drive the three and, you know, run the Goodrich car back, he would be not only be proud to see his godson behind the wheel of the number he made famous, but also because, you know, if he ran the Goodrich car as a throwback, you know, he would be happy to see it, Rob, the iconic scheme come back. I mean... I want to see that scheme come back just you know, as a throwback. To, you know, just, you know, I could buy the die cast and put, you know, my Dale Senior last ride die cast and Austin and Goodrich throwback right next to each other. It would look so fucking good. But I know RC doesn't want to take any chances, but eventually you're going to have to because you've gone through enough of Dale Senior's old pain scheme. So there, other than the Tasmanian Devil Run from 2000, there's barely anything fucking left. So come on, run that Goodrich game. But anyway, I'm going to get, get off this thing for the night. And, you know, just continue to recuperate and, you know, get ready for the Goldbergs, Tony Stewart installment uh, tomorrow when we catch up. And, you know, after we get through with Bostwick. So have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Life will give you a lot of lows, but when you hit a high, enjoy it. It ain't for the week. 
goddamn be you you have to try harder to do less you can't depart a dream and sometimes the worst things in life lead to the best things so take care everyone good night so hopefully this cold will be almost gone by tuesday and hopefully it'll be just about gone by the friday and hopefully completely gone by sunday so remember no uploads next weekend because you know busy family business and then monday we're after you know after the monday wait after the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday videos I have planned, no videos Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then Monday, we're back in the game, and then it's just free game until, you know, my dad's nephew's wife's sister's wedding come June. So, see you later, everyone.